I wanted to show you that it's not that difficult to do a backyard party uh, or show a movie in the back or maybe even your favorite show or sports, depending on where you live and what time they play it. If it's dark enough, you can watch your favorite sporting events outside. What it starts with really is the source. So you can use a DirecTV cable box, uh, any other brand, whatever you have, if you can get that box outside or get the signal to your projector. Well, let's just focus on one thing here. Let's talk about the backyard movie. So we always recommend that you get the disc, either the Blu-ray or the DVD. That way it plays. There's no question it's going to play on here. If you're streaming something, you might have a Wi-Fi problem or a buffering problem or whatever. You don't want that to be in the middle of your show or the middle of the movie. So this just keeps it simple. And then the connections are hard. What I mean by hard is they go in nice and solid and you don't have to worry about wireless anything. You can also use a laptop. This is a huge question we're getting these days. On the side of every laptop, just about every laptop, not all of them, uh, this one particular has a VGA connection. You just plug that in there, it plugs into the, to the projector. Some computers have HDMI connections. That's what this one is. If you're using a Mac, it's no problem at all. The Macs work great. You just got to know which video adapter you need. This is USB-C. This is a display port. And then you have a corresponding connection on the back that'll go into your player. If you go to any big box store, they should be able to help you figure this out. You know what connections you need with what. But that's really it. You just have to have the wire. And with the Macs, we're sure you need an adapter. We include all of this stuff in our rentals. We just ask what you're using, and then we give you what you need. Uh, a few days ago, we had a guy plug a fire stick directly into the projector. And as long as you have the remote for the fire stick, it worked out great. Once you get the picture into the projector, that's really it. Keep it simple. Uh, then you need the sound to go to the speaker. So you can boost both of them. On the sound end of things, we typically include with our DVD player, because that's what we like to use, is RCA's red and white, red and white. And then we adapt it into a single quarter inch jack that plugs in and it's labeled the tape into the speaker. If you're using a computer, uh, you'll want to use, this is just how it works with the equipment we, that we rent, but it could be different with whatever you've bought for sure. This projector has audio output on it. So let's say your laptop is connected with HDMI. The sound and the picture are going to go to the projector. And then you need to pull the sound back back out. So we'll go into the audio output. Not every projector has that. You need to check and make sure it has it. And then you plug this into your speaker. And make sure your speaker has the same jacks. It's just a matter of buying the equipment for what you're wanting to do. Don't overthink it. I have noticed on Amazon, some customers have called um, the cheaper Amazon projectors. They tout a lot of awesome things, but I'm getting people calling me the day of saying it's just not bright enough, it's not gonna work. Basically, those are built for inside a bedroom with a quiet environment. But when you go outside, you're competing with the street lights, uh, what's left of the sun, maybe the moon, and the house lights around will actually change how much brightness you're, you're fighting against. So really, what I'm trying to say is you get what you pay for in projectors. If you're going to get a two or $300 projector, it's not going to be very good. You can't go to Best Buy or Office Max or get anything under, you know, five, $600 that's worth anything as far as this. And it probably doesn't have that audio out. So just know what you're looking for when you buy it. We also include typically three extension cords. Notice they're different colors because if something doesn't have power and your power strip is all connected into one, you got three different extension cords into here and they're all yellow. It's hard to know which one that you need to disconnect or kind of fish through and find the problem. These um, more expensive equipment has an external power cord, just plugs in, same thing with the speaker. So what do you need to have a party? Uh, you need a screen down there, the blower. The blower runs continually with that brand. You'll need a speaker that's loud enough to do what you want to do. You can use a small Bluetooth speaker for this. That's fine. It's just a matter of how big your crowd is and how much of a movie passion you want it to have because it has the highs and lows. People are whispering, and then all of a sudden there's an explosion, and they're, uh, and they're shooting at each other. So you want to feel that. Otherwise, it's just going to feel kind of just not as exciting. With all these pieces, you should be able to pull off your party. Call us if you got any questions. Thanks.